Good morning, YouTube. This is Johnny. Time to make a video in the death flow as I uh, wander the American wasteland. It is May the 18th, 2019. It is 9.20 in the morning here in West Michigan. It is uh, a rainy, cold, damp, gray day. And yeah, and um, I just got off the computer. I was writing in my online diary, Crooked Fingers. And uh, looking at booktube videos. And it's been a couple days since I made a video. And Carol's gone this morning. We had Josie Joy, our little granddaughter, over for the night. So uh, Papa slept down on the lower level last night. And um, slept. It's kind of cool going down the lower level. And I, I lay there and I just look all around me. And about you know, 12,000 books <laughs> surrounded me. It is a mess down there. But hey. Book lovers love books, no matter if they're on shelves or on the floor or on coffee tables or they're just everywhere. That's what I've always wanted and since I got into books was to having a house full of books. And uh, my dream came true. <laughs> this is a book lover's paradise. Of course, I realize in watching booktube that the books that I like I don't think most people in booktube would like them because people in booktube don't read like um, they don't read this book. Well that, that's one thing I was making this video about is um, yesterday Carol and I went to Grand Rapids as I mentioned we were going to go to the grand opening of REI which sells, you know, camping, camping equipment, you know, backpacks, and all that kind of stuff. And Carol's been a member of REI since 1974-75. And she wanted to go to the grand opening. So we went there, but it was lined up. It was like, it was like the line was around the building. So we went to out for coffee and a sweet roll at Panera Bread and then we went to Baker Bookhouse which is a Christian bookstore. Baker publishes books and they have a huge section of the stores used books, used Christian books. So we went there for a couple of hours. Carol bought 16 books yesterday. <laughs> And I only bought five at Baker Bookhouse. And that's why I'm making this video showing what books uh, I bought. I'm not going to show you Carol's books, but the books I bought yesterday at Baker Bookhouse. And this is one of the books. And this is why I'm saying that I don't think I would come across anybody in Booktube who would read a book like this. It's called Romans Disarmed. Resisting Empire and Demanding Justice by Sylvia C. Kismet and Brian J. Walsh. This I got this because, as you all know, I've been reading through the Epistle of Romans by the Apostle Paul. And this is their New Testament study on the, the, Paul, the Epistle of, of Romans. Now, many years ago, they wrote this book. Sylvia C. Kismat and Brian J. Walsh, they wrote this book. I have this one. I read this, I don't know, this came out in 2004. Colossians, the Epistle of Colossians by the Apostle Paul. And they did this, uh, Brian Walsh and Sylvia Kismat. Colossians Remix, Subverting the Empire. So now I have two books by them. And also at Baker Bookhouse, I, I got these 
on half off. They go for forty dollars a volume, and I got them for this one's for twenty five dollars. This is a two volume study on the doctrine of justification, historical, theological study of the New Testament doctrine of justification by Michael Horton. I wanted this. For a while, but I wasn't going to spend, you know, $80, $85 for it, but I got these for about $45, so it's almost 50% off. So this is uh, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Volume 1 is more looking at historically, historical theology by Michael Horton on justification, like justification in the ancient church. Um, Chapter 7, The Reformers and the Great Exchange Mystical Union. Chapter 10, Law and Gospel, A Tale of Two Covenants. Chapter 12, Justification in the Christian Life, things like that. And then Volume 2 is more looking at uh, the different views of justification throughout church history and up into the modern times. So I got that. And then I picked up this book at Baker Bookhouse. This was 30% off and I have been looking at it. This is the doctrine on which the church stands or falls. Justification in biblical, theological, historical, and pastoral perspective. These are a bunch of essays by leading New Testament theologians and scholars on the uh, doctrine of justification, biblical, theological, historical, and pastoral perspectives. So I got that. And then I picked up the book I was reading this morning. I got this book at Baker Book House yesterday. I didn't know about this book, but, but I came across it when I was looking at the section on biblical studies, the beauty of the Lord theology as ascetics by Jonathan King. And so I've been reading this this morning. So I got those at Baker Book House yesterday. And, uh, and then we went, what we do next? I think we went back to REI and stood in line. We finally got in the store and we bought a couple of shirts. I stood in line for an hour to pay for our our shirts and um, and after REI we went to Schuler Books and they have they're like Baker they're like uh, Barnes and Noble they're like uh, a regular bookstore, you know, they sell all kinds of stuff besides books. It's called Schuller's Books and Music. They sell, you know, all kinds of stuff in those store. But they have a used book section. That's why I go there. It says, it was really, it's really a very poor used book section. And But I just like looking through it. And I found two books. And I found this book published in Paris. A Literary Chronicle of Paris in the 1920s and 1930s by Hugh Ford. I already had this book by Hugh Ford in our library. Uh, Nancy Coulard, Brave Poet, Indomitable Rebel, 1896 to 1965. This is edited by Hugh Ford. These are like, it's like an anthology. Some of her writings uh, people talking about her. She was a, lived in Paris in the 1920s and 30s and she was a poet and she hung around with all the poets and painters and people of that time period. It smells really musty. <laughs> I must have got it at some used book sale. So I got that and then I found this novel by Peter Carey, My Life as a Fake, a novel by Peter Carey. He's a very famous Australian, Australian writer. 
so, and I collect his writings. I saw this one, My Life is a Fake, a novel by Peter Carey. So after uh, Schuler's, we went out for lunch, went to Pita House, which sells uh, Middle Eastern food from Jordan. And by that time, I was pretty tired. It was like going on one o'clock and I was pretty tired. So we skipped going to East Town, Argo's Books, and some other places, and we just drove home. And we were home by 2 o'clock, or 2.30, maybe 3 o'clock. And we had our oldest son, who lives down the street, over for dinner with, his, with Emily and Josie and little Cora and little Ollie, the new puppy. They've had him for four weeks now, and <laughs> Caleb is really getting his ass kicked by that little puppy. Just, but I told him, you get a little dog, a little puppy, it's a lot of work. <laughs> you gotta walk them, you gotta care for them and take them to the vet and give them baths and he cries all night long and he wants constant attention and so yeah. So that was my Carol and I's day yesterday. Today is a Saturday. Carol and Josie went to the farmer's market. They went to Meyer's grocery store. They went to Menards to get some stuff. And I was just too tired to leave the house. I was kind of whipped from yesterday. Yesterday also, before the kids came over for dinner, I, had, I mowed the back the front and back lawn. As you know, our house is on a hill, so I gotta mow up this hill and mow down the hill. And So today I'm just kinda chilling. <laughs> and I thought I'd make a video. This is like a Saturday Reads. Like a, uh, I've been reading this morning also. Paul, Apostle of Liberty, Origin and Nature of Paul's Christianity by Richard N. Longnecker. From, he from Heaven He Came and Sought Her, Definite Atonement, and Historical, Biblical, and Theological, and Pastoral Perspectives, edited by David Gibson and Jonathan Gibson. See, this is in the same series as this one. See, it's, these are almost in the same series. So, I really like these because it's, if you're into historical theology or systematic theology or New Testament theology. Those are, this is on the death of Christ, definite atonement. And this is on the doctrine of justification by faith, which is a major doctrine in the Epistle of Romans. That's why I got these books because um, as you're going through Romans, you're always talking about justification by faith and by grace alone. And I wanted a different perspective on the Epistle of Romans. This is looking at, I don't know, it's a different perspective, and uh, I really liked their last book when I read this one a couple of years ago. Also, I've been reading this morning, the book I was reading several months ago, Being in Christ, A Biblical and Systematic Investigation and Reform. Reform Perspective by Hans Berger. So I've been reading this, The Beauty of the Lord, Paul, the Apostle of Liberty, From Heaven He Came and He Sought Her, Romans Disarmed, and writing in my diary this morning on May the 18th, 2019. I'm on page 439 for the year 2019. So yeah, so it's a Saturday. Tomorrow is the beginning of a new week. Not this week, but next week, Carol leaves for Denver for a week to visit our daughter Bethany, her husband Andy, and Louisa, Margaret, and Jack. And I'll be here writing in my diary, watching the birds wandering the wasteland, waiting for the end of the world, and uh, just chilling. 
So I hope you're having a good weekend. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for just being who you are. I hope you're all doing well. And yeah, until next time, bye.